G'day, Steve here, Woodworking Masterclass Unplugged. And if you've just watched the previous video, you'll know I'm alive and well, but also the good news is that Woodworking Masterclass is going live stream in the beginning of July. Now the reason for that, if you haven't already seen, is when I tape the show or um, a project or whatever, generally it takes me a long time filming. So I thought, well, why not stream it? And then if you want to see what it's like with all the outtakes, all the stuff ups, all the mess ups, all the mischief Bob gets up to and all the stupid things I do that I take before you actually get to see the video, you're welcome to join me. It's on Twitch. It's Woodworking Masterclass. I'm doing a couple of soft streams at the moment. I'm not advertising them. I'm just going on live just so I can get comfortable with what I'm doing. But that's the good news. Now, the better news, well, for me anyway, I've had a bit of a spend. As you can imagine, those of you that know about streaming, it does take certain uh, specialised equipment. And boy, have I been on a learning curve for the last month. And that's why I haven't been putting so many projects up. But believe me, when we start going live, we're going to get back into the um, cadence of things and more and more projects are going to come up. I'm not sure how I'm going to do it, but I will be streaming from this in-house workshop, the unplugged one, and also streaming from the shed, which is down the backyard. I'm just waiting to get the internet down there. At the moment, I'm fine. I've got the internet in the house. Okay, uh, so along with, what did I buy? What did I buy? Actually, I did two things. I, I bought two ends of the scale, really basic and really high tech. So, to start with, I think I'll show you what I bought that really, really was dear to my heart. I've done one Twitch stream already, if you'd like to check it out on Twitch TV, Woodworking Masterclass, and that went for an hour and 45 minutes, and I forget what I made. Oh, that's right, I made a little stool, which will also be on Woodworking Masterclass YouTube. But along the way, I was using a handsaw instead of a jigsaw. I've given the jigsaw a flick, because it really is too noisy and too messy, and I found a handsaw was just as quick, a lot quieter, and didn't make as much mess. But I did make the comment, I really should buy myself a new crosscut saw for the in-house workshop. And I have, and what a beauty it is. I thought I'd go all out and buy myself a Lee Nelson. And this one, I'm pretty sure, is an eight TPI. They do two sizes, an eight and a 12, and I thought, well, generally for me, cutting, it's just to get rid of waste, and I don't need a super fine finish, so I went for the eight TPI. So here we go, let's unpack it and see what it's like. Just the, the box itself makes you feel as if you're getting a quality product, doesn't it? You can see that, but it's very well wrapped from all of a Twitter. Let's pop that over there. Wow. That is so nicely wrapped. Ah. Oh. And just look at the handle. That is absolutely superb. I might leave the plastic on just so I don't cut myself now. Nah. It's even got the old fashioned tip on them that no one can explain to me what that's for, but um, see if we can get a song out of it. Well, that's got a nice ring to it. What have I got? Yeah, got a bit of myrtle here. Now, normally, when you see me cutting wood, I mark it, cut it with a knife, put a knife wall on it. But frankly, I'm too excited to do that, so I'm just going to follow a pencil line. I'll see how good I am. My goodness. Just put a little bit of wax on the blade. See if it smartens it up. But it is cutting very nicely. Well, you got one happy camper there. If you can see 
that edge. That's pretty good for an 8 TPI. It's a um, 20 inch blade, very nice and light to, to handle and guides very well. Now the other thing I did get, which I've already unpacked, was a leather bag for it. And I, I tell you, it makes me feel like John Wayne. I don't know how it goes in, how does it go in? There you go. Ah, oh. there you go. I'm happy. <laughs> Provided my wife doesn't see me create a card bill, I'm really happy. No, that is gorgeous. And the thing is, when you're buying tools, I'm always saying, if you're gonna buy tools, buy the best you can afford at the time because you only get the shock once when the credit card bill comes in and then you've got a tool that's gonna to last you a lifetime and you're gonna be happy using it. Whereas if you go and just get something cheap that'll do for now, I find you get very frustrated, uh, find yourself become discontented with what you're doing and if things don't work out, you can blame your tools. Pay for it, buy good tools, you can't blame your tools, you just need more practice. Okay, what else did I get at the same time? I've seen these on the internet, where is it? And I thought, I don't know if I would use one. But soon I had to have the big splash for all the IT guy for uh, stuff for streaming. I thought I'd get one of these too. And get a sticker, that'll go on the tool chest. And what they say, um, with these as opposed to the Eclipse or the Sandvix or the um, Barkus is they're strong and I tell you what, they do not flex. The biggest problem with um, coping saws is that they flex when you're using them and it distorts the blade. Uh, and I've got some blades to go with it as well. I don't know. I'll work on this one. It really is nice. I mean, it looks quite space age. But I'll put this together at some later stage and I've got a couple of jobs which I actually want to do live on Twitch and I'll be using this. Um, now, this also came from Lee Nelson Toolworks Australia. That's where I bought the saw from um, because I'm in Australia, obviously. And yeah, look, I found this saw was very, very good. And Anthony, uh, the guy that uh, owns a company in Australia. He's very approachable and quite knowledgeable with what he does. So thank you, Anthony. Um, you got another customer. I'll be back. Okay, I think, oh no, that was the other thing. I was in the big box hardware shop known as Bunnings. In Australia, we call it the big green box. Um, I think it's pretty close to Home Depot and what have you over in the States. But I saw these and they're down here because I'm hiding them. And I thought, I have just got to have a set of those because not only will I feel smarter using them or just having them here, they just look great. Now, just look at that. This is Sutton's Tools and Sutton's Tools is an Australian company and they are still made in Australia. So more power to you, Suttons. I haven't opened this. Um, I've been really tempted to, but it means I'm gonna have to break the cardboard. So I'll break the cardboard now, and we'll have a look, see what's inside. Oops. I don't know how to break the cardboard, here we go. No, I don't think there's any easy way. It's just going to have to come off. Isn't that smart? Look at that, you can actually see, see my computer screens behind the cameras. Oh, there's a good shot of the camera. That's one of them anyway. And it's the Suttons, as you can read, the Suttons 100 year celebration set of drill bits. And if we can just open it up here. Isn't that spectacular? 
And the great thing is I haven't got a metric set, well I didn't until I bought these, in the workshop. So it was easy. I said to the wife, no, you got to keep up with the times, I've got to get metric tool bits and then I can make more stuff. And she believed me, so I'm pretty happy with that. But on, on a serious note, look, that is seriously a beautiful piece of equipment to have and quite frankly, an absolute joy to own. So uh, they're still available if you check out Bunnings and I have seen them on eBay. So if you're not in Australia and you'd like to get a set, check them out on eBay. It's celebrating 100 years, Sutton's Tools and they're in metric. I did also notice they had a set of hole saws uh, in a similar sort of box to that but I really don't have that much use for hole saws. But if you're a handyman or DIY or you're doing a lot of um, scroll saw work or putting locks indoors, check out the hole saws as well because they come in a beautiful presentation box such as that. I really don't think I want to use them. I might put them up on the shelf. No, I will. I'll use them. So that's it. <clears throat> that was for the down uh, dark side, if you like. Now on the upside because I'm going streaming. Oh boy, I have learned so much from 14 and 15 year olds. They have problems communicating exactly what it is they want to say, but boy, do they know their IT stuff. <laughs>